Good evening, folks. Um, today we had Altoona again. Had a pretty good time. Carried a long time with my buddy James with me. He and I ain't been fishing together in a while. Um, didn't catch a lot of fish. Had a lot of fun laughing and giggling. Um, the big boats were out making all sorts of waves. It's not always a bad thing just to move the bait around. Um, what we were doing tactic wise, pretty simple. Finding these flats where these fish are and they're all hanging out in about 20 feet of water. The only time they're up in the shallow water is when they're pushing bait up and then they're going back to their 20 foot haunts. We would find them lots early in the morning, even during midday, and basically you just kind of get in the middle of them and set quiet. When they bust the top of the surface, have you a top water plug, walking bait, something that disturbs the water, throw it in the mix of it, you'll pretty much get hooked. And uh, the fish that are out on the bottom when they go back down, you can try a drop shot, you can uh, try a shaky head, something that's going to be down there where they're at, but today they just weren't very interested in that. Uh, we caught, I think, one or two on some small worms, little dinks down on the bottom. The fish that we caught weren't that big. It's like every day we've went, they've stepped down in size. Um, you just got to keep at it. And that's just fishing. Some days it's good, some days it's bad. Today there weren't a lot really in some of their normal haunts down there. They seem to be a little bit more suspended. Those are harder to catch. Um, I did catch one on a uh, underspin. A, uh, well, right here, right here's what we're using. This is a uh, Spot Choker brand underspin. Really good bait. It's got a little bit of different head design on it right there. You can put virtually, you can put a fluke on it, put a Kytec on it, monkey around with the colors, swim it through them. You can yo-yo it off the bottom. Very versatile. Uh, as far as top water, I didn't change up today, but most of the time, if it's uh, early morning overcast, eh, throw something bone or white colored. Uh, if the day gets real bright in the sun, you want more flash, get you one that's uh, got a silver belly. Doesn't really matter about the top, I don't think. That's more for catching the fish. Uh, I always keep a spinner bait tied on bait. That's just always there. It's almost part of the boat. Um, let's go around here to the other side. <laughs> Drop shot wise, let's see if I can get this undone without sticking myself. I prefer these smaller hooks. You may want to use a straight shank worm hook. That's personal preference. I run braid the fluoro. And if you come down here, you'll see we've just got a little drop shot weight. Nothing fancy. Sling it out there, drag it back through them. They seem to have, most of the fish I have caught, and I have experimented with several different colors, uh, these pinks and purples, for whatever reason, seem to turn them on. Uh, shaky head rig. Got a regular old ball shaky head weight here. I think those are gammon katsu. And I just put a little small pumpkin and green trick worm on it. Didn't have any takers on this today. Had a few slap at this today, but like I said, most of the fish, most of the fish were suspended. They, they weren't very interested in anything except the darn bait they're pushing, which is about this big. Any of them that uh, hocked up any shad over the past few days, they're little, so remember that. Um, try to downsize your baits. They may hit that big worm when it's bounced around the bottom. That's always a good possibility. But for the most part, they're going to hit something that's closer to the size of the bait that they're used to chasing. The top water thing, there's no rocket science to it. Find you a flat or places where a hump, a reef, all sorts of different structure that comes up in that 20 foot range, a point straight off of it. They're going to run up and chase that bait. If you find the bait busting or see it on any of your electronics, 
you don't necessarily have to have the live image and it does help because it eliminates a lot of water but find those humps drag your worms um, have you some sort of top water bait really at the ready uh, in this video I don't know if I caught it on camera but pretty much I'm trying to throw one particular lure at some school and fish and on another side of the boat they blow up and they just kept rolling I had time to reach down grab it grab the top water plug fire it off into the middle of their little feeding frenzy and jerk it a few times and naturally caught a fish and you never know what size sometimes it might be a little one sometimes it might be a big one that came up with them uh, you never know anyway we can catch a lot of fish we had a really good time laughing and giggling together as always and that's what it's about go have fun um, we're not professionals by any way form or fashion so but hope this uh, helps anybody that's uh, struggling trying to figure out how to catch fish Altoona is not the Dead Sea it is uh, can be a difficult lake to fish uh, mainly because you've got to get out here and find where the fish are study the fish they're going to be chasing bait and they're going to be in happy water. So apply all those tactics and hope you have a uh, good fishing trip. Anyway, hope you enjoy the video. Peace. Just throwed my darn bait off. <laughs> He's <laughs> he my darn thing off. You knocked your trailer off. Not my trailer off. Chewed it up. Ew. I'll tell you one thing. When that spot choker gets him, He's a healthy boy. You ain't gotta worry about him going nowhere, that's for sure. Your biggest problem is trying to get them on the hook. Whew. Throwing a spot choker at fish roaming around about 15, 20 foot of water. And they ate my uh, trailer. Good thing I got a whole, whole, whole sack up. But don't tell your friends. <laughs> Dig another one out. Oh my goodness. It never failed me, believe it or not. Stupid as that is. Wedge on the mm -hmm. some speed. Not right in there. Well, it's working, that's all that matters. Too late. Oh, got him. <laughs> Boy, he's big, too. Look at him. Mm -hmm. Look at him. He is hot to pick these something up on him. Oh, you a man. Look at him. He's still getting at it. Mm -hmm. Come here, Dave. You want your power grabber? Yeah, I might be able to. Eat him on down here. Yeah, let me see. Better safe than sorry. Before I get a face or a handful of this, because I'm gonna have to do some work on here.
y'all take the fun out of this. I spend so much time trying to get one of y'all mm -hmm. untangled. The rest of them all goes away and you can't get them. Oh, and if you had him in the net, you'd have to untangle them. Oh, net. buddy, if he was in the net. Oh, Lord, I don't know how we're going to get him loose. Look at him. He's uh, got it up under him right there. Well, he's buttoned up good. He is. They're hitting the uh, Spro Epop. Not a good day, but not a bad day. Oh, just a regular old, without the weed guard on. Yeah. Like a swim jig head. There they are. Yeah, there they are. Damn it. God, that was a bunch of them, too. Mm -hmm. That was an old third grade come up right Yeah, school. yeah. This one was kindergarten class, 1974, yeah. six, whenever I was in there. There's a hump right out there. That same hump I was throwing at. Have you noticed the clouds move over? Yeah. And they fire off. Come on, get you some chug. Get you some chug bug. Get you some chuggy bug. Come on now. Come on, Holmes. You know you want some. God, he's out there. Thank God for braid. Boy, he's big, too. Did you see that? Lord, have mercy. Get Stand by, get, folks. I need to get the gas. Oh, the I don't know. You might have to call a helicopter. Just flew over to get this one. <laughs> Winch him out. Did I lock us? Yeah, I locked us. Right. Yeah. Oh, dear Jesus. What in the world? Oh, my goodness. I think I got him. Treble hooks. Gotta love them. Pinch for darn bright and nice, huh? Okay, that's one part out. Ooh, where's the rest of you hooked? Alright, dude. We go, you were finally free, young man. Every time the clouds come over, these boogers push them to push bait to the surface, and we sling right in the mix of them. It's all about timing and distance. Oh my goodness. You folks at home might gripe about uh, weight 
boats and jet skis and whatnot, but they do turn the bait up. Every time we get waves come through here in the clouds, they come running to the surface. They're busting back there. Way out of range. They'll move back in here in a minute. Just have to wait and be ready to sling. Y'all didn't know you could uh, surf on a bass boat. It could be done. You just seen it. 